Welcome back guys. In this video, we will learn to request images using Wally. -E. So let's quickly set up the project. Go to build.gradle file and add the dependency of Android Wally. -E. Go to the manifest file and add permission internet. Under the application tag, set uses clear text traffic to true and hit sync now. Now go to activity main.xml file and add an image view, set width and height to wrap content, center horizontal will be true, give this an id image view, add a button, set width and height to wrap content, give this an id button, center in parent will be true, text will be request image now go to mainactivity.java file and have a reference of the ui elements we have an image view we will call this image view find by id then we have a button find by id r dot id dot button now when this button is clicked Then we will request our image, press alt enter and create this method. Create an object of request queue. Volley dot new request queue. Context this. Now create an object of image request. We will call this image request. The first parameter is the URL to the image. We will pass the URL later in the video. Then we need a bitmap listener. And the next parameter is max width. We will set these to 0 and 0. Setting these to 0 and 0 will help us get the actual size of the image. Scale type will be center crop and decode config will be null and the last parameter is error listener, new error listener. Make this image view a global object. Now when the response comes in the form of bitmap, we will show that bitmap in our image view by calling image view dot set image bitmap response and lastly we can add our image request to our request queue now run your apache server i'll be using xamp now go to the services tab start apache Go to the networks tab and enable 8080 to 80 forwarding. Go to the volumes and mount volume. Now open the stdocs folder and if you are using vamp then open the www folder. And we have an image file here. We will be loading this logo.jpg file. Now open the terminal. And navigate to the folder where ngrock is stored and again if you don't know what ngrock is then i'll put a link to it in the description box go check it out it's really cool now run the command dot slash ngrock http port number 8080 ngrock is running copy the link and paste it in the url section and then put a slash and name of our image file. Now we can run and test our app. Click on request image. Okay, so we have got our requested image. And if you like this video, then give this a like and subscribe to the channel.